is really important and I'm gonna say it three times sleep regression is real sleep regression is real sleep regression is real hey friends welcome back to our channel learning with Olivia today's video is all about sleep training tips stay tuned A little background on our sleep training with Olivia. I am a working mom, so when Olivia was getting close to 12 weeks, I figured that I had to do something because there was no way that I could go back to working full time and not be getting my full night's rest. Um, so at that point, it was about maybe when she was 11 or 12 weeks, uh, I read a book, I loved it, I implemented the strategies, and thank God they still work today. Uh, right now, Olivia is about to turn nine months old. She's been sleeping about 10 to 12 hours a night for the past three months, and now she does sleep independently in her crib. This is her sleeping right now. It is 6.30 in the morning, and I hope that she sleeps for at least another hour or so. So let's get started. Tip number one. You can do this from the first day that your baby comes home. Set a routine, set a pattern that tells your baby, okay, we do this every night and I have to go to bed. For us, it is bath time, a bottle feed, and we turn off all the lights and she goes straight to bed. Um, we've been doing this since day one. I knew I wanted to bathe her at night because it would work long term for our family. Um, and I mean, by now she's about to be nine months and she knows it's bath time she's fully ready for her bottle after her bath and most nights she falls asleep um, while she's feeding and then we just put her in her crib and she's set through the night moving on to tip number two and probably the most important tip in the whole video you need to listen to an audiobook on sleep training or you need to read a book on sleep training this video is not about how to sleep train it is tips in addition to whatever they're telling you to do on the book or um or sleep training guide that you're trying to follow i listened because i had no time to read in those first couple of weeks i listened to an audiobook called 12 weeks no 12 hours of sleep by 12 weeks i love this book it worked for us I used it even when we had those episodes of, of sleep regression, which I'll get into later. And um, I have no complaints. This book was great. Um, it tells you when to start sleep training. When is the right time to sleep training? It always tells you to consult your pediatrician first, like we know we should be doing. Um, and what else does it tell you? Um, just basically all the steps on how to implement it. Like they give you the tools. So it is up to you whether you're going to follow them or not. And if you do follow them, you're going to have great results. This book that I mentioned, The 12 Hours of Sleep by 12 Weeks, uh, when I posted on my social media that I was using this, I had so many moms reach out and say that they actually had used the same book. And they had children that were two or three years old and were still sleeping fantastically through the night. Now, if you used a different book, please drop that name down below to help all other mamas just like me uh, find a good tool and a good resource to help with sleep training. So mamas, please drop that name in the comments below. Okay, guys, moving on to tip number three. Tip number three is to make sure that you are using those items that are available to us on the market that really help through the sleep training. Uh, I'm going to touch on the top that really helped us. Number one is the pacifier. Um, she does not use the pacifier frequently during the day, but she does use the pacifier to sleep. It really helps to soothe her, especially on those nights where she finished her feeding and she's not necessarily 100% asleep. Um, even nights where we put her in the crib and she's still not 100% asleep, that pacifier really helps to soothe her and she falls asleep very quickly. The next item that we love, we've used from day one, is a white noise machine. It's a soothing light that we use. Um, I really like mine. It's a Fisher Price soothing light. And if you follow me on social media, if you don't, you should start. 
I posted that when I would do this video, I would host a giveaway. So here it is. If this video reaches 500 views, I will give away one of these soothing lights um, to a random person. So how to enter the giveaway, share my video, help me reach 500 views and drop a comment. I will be selecting a person at random from the comments list. Okay, not the book comment, from a comment, any other comment you wanna do, even if it's a book, I mean, why not? If you drop a book comment, you will be entered into the uh, random drawing for this Fisher Price soothing light. Okay, moving on, uh, I mentioned the pacifier, the soothing light white noisemaker, okay, security blanket or like a stuffed animal. So let me show you. Okay, if you see, let's see, sorry, the ring light's in the way. Uh, this right here is Olivia's little security blanket. So it's a tiny little square blanket. Uh, it has a little unicorn on it. Uh, oh, actually, you can see the little unicorn head right there. She loves this thing. Um, it is like her little like lovey security blanket. When she wakes up anytime during the night and she will go where she has it there, I could just tell that it makes her feel like she has company. She's not just there in bed with absolutely nothing. Um, I love that she has her little unicorn blanket and I do think that it helps in the sleep training and in her being independent in her crib. And the last items are sleep sacks, weighted blankets, Velcro swaddles. Um, there are so many of these type of items in the market and they do work. Uh, in the beginning, when she was still in the bassinet here, um, she used the Velcro swaddles until she outgrew them. The Velcro swaddles were amazing. I really recommend the Swaddle Me brand. Uh, once she outgrew them, we transitioned her into sleep sacks. Now, why a sleep sack? It's because she's still too little for a blanket. When she covers herself, she still doesn't know how to cover herself again. And I don't want her to be cold through the night. I don't want to be going into her room every hour when she moves and uncovers herself so the sleep sacks really do work for us um oh now you could see a little bit more clearly because it's daytime now her security blanket and if you could tell this is her pj and she's wearing her sleep sack these sleep sacks go up to 12 or 18 months the large goes up to 18 months um and i i don't know how long i plan to use them for but for now they have worked for the last three months and weighted blankets, personally never use a weighted blanket, but I've heard great things about them. If your baby's struggling, give it a try. Now, if you've tried all these things, your baby's still not sleeping, you should seek professional help. There is no reason why you should go on for a year or more without being able to have a full night's rest. Sleep is so important and as a mom, we need to get a rest to be able to give them our 100% during the day. There are sleep trainers out there that you could hire or seek help from. Uh, the author of 12 Hours of Sleep by 12 Weeks, she is a professional sleep trainer. And in the book, she talks about how she visits its house and visits houses and, and her experiences with sleep training in person. So there is professional help out there. There's no reason why you have to go on for a prolonged period of time without uh, getting a full night's rest. This is really important, and I'm gonna say it three times. Sleep regression is real. Sleep regression is real. Sleep regression is real. There is nothing worse than putting your baby to sleep and having them wake up through the night after you've had a couple of nights rest and you're like, oh no, why are you waking up at four in the morning? Or uh, what Olivia did to us recently for about a week, um, we would put her down in the crib. Um, she would sleep well for like 10 or 15 minutes and then all of a sudden she wakes up and she was alert. Her eyes were open. She was playing with her security blanket. Like there was no sleeping for this baby. Um, it's tough because especially when it happened um, earlier on in the night, like I'm used to having that time now with my husband, we watch TV and we were literally both downstairs just like watching.
They're like, is she gonna fall asleep? Like, what do we do? Do we go upstairs? And that's when we turned back to our sleep training book. We followed the steps, we went up to her room, we patted her, we never took her out of the crib. We gave her the soother, we walked out. And then we repeated it a couple of times and it worked. Um, it would take, probably the longest that it took her was another like 10 or 15 minutes to go back to sleep, but she did go back to sleep and she slept through the night. Um, then we went to our pediatrician and realized that this sleep regression was due to her teething and she has a mouthful of teeth. They're all coming out at the same time. So we decided to go ahead and buy her this non-medicated or gel uh, cream, like a gel that we can put on her gums and it has helped. We don't use it every night, only when I notice that she's really uncomfortable a couple hours right before bed, just because I want her to sleep calmly through the night. Um, but sleep regression is real. In our case, our last episode was because of her teething. And the episode prior to that was maybe like two or three weeks into her sleeping alone in the crib. She did wake up like at three or four in the morning. I heard her on the monitor. And in that case, that's when the soother came in. Uh, we gave her the pass. We went back in the room. We gave her the pacifier. We patted her a little bit and we walked out and she went back to sleep. So sleep regression, it's real. It's really tough because you get so anxious and you're just like wondering why are you awake what can i do to get you back to sleep you want to pick them up you want to hold them but this is the time where you really need to remember your sleep training tips because a bad habit is picked up like this and if they know that they wake up and they cry and there goes mama or papa picks them up and rocks them for a couple minutes they're gonna get used to that and they're gonna want that i mean who doesn't want to get rocked to sleep All right, guys, this is it for my sleep training video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that some of these tips really help you with your sleep training. Um, I look forward to seeing who wins this giveaway. I look forward to reading your comments. If you have any questions, drop them below. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Um, and if you have any questions or feedback, if you maybe don't agree with something I said, drop a comment. I'm looking forward to reading them. Bye, guys.